Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's 6pm content video for Prem Team of the Season. Yesterday, we got this Gareth Bale card that you can see above me here. Hopefully today we get something absolutely sick. But if you do enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you follow me on Twitch. If you want to see us record these kind of things live, Twitch is the place to go. It is the first link in the description. And also, if you want to go and get yourself some coins, because my god... Some of these players are expensive. If you want to get someone like Bruno or uh, Rashford, you're paying a hell of a lot. So go on over to IG Vault. If you're looking to pick up some foot coins, then head on over to IG Vault. They are doing a 30% discount on all coins throughout Team of the Season. And if you buy some coins, you will be entered into a 30 million foot coins giveaway. If you use my code Birdie at checkout, you'll get an extra 6% off. So... We have got a few seconds left to go. I've been testing out some of the new Prem Team of the Seasons uh, throughout the weekend league so far. I think I'm, what, six and one on PlayStation? Uh, I've just sold Harry Kane. I was using him as a cam. Oh, absolutely garbage. He feels so clunky. Gundogan's okay. Shaw's been okay. Diaz has been a bit of a rock. This Salah card, I mean, 15 goals, four assists in seven foot champs games with a couple of rage quits is uh, not bad at all. But maybe they're about to release something like a Tielemans SBC that is going to make me very, very excited. But Harry Kane, as it stands, is out. I'm going to buy KDB, test him out, and see what he is like. But we have got just a couple of seconds to go. Ten seconds, to be precise, uh, before we get an SBC here. Oh, I beg it's Tielemans. You know you want to, EA. Please. Please. Right, it's six o'clock. Do we get a random objective added today? I would assume that we probably won't, but you never know. If they want to be kind, then they'd give us even more objectives to do. So we'll check this first. No. No special player there. Let me just quickly get this. This incredible. How long they spent designing this sketchpad, Tifo. Oof. Incredible. I'm so glad I've been able to unlock it. But what we need to look at is SBCs. Obviously, EA are doing a social media blackout, so we have no idea what it is because they don't tweet it out. But here we go. Oh, we get showdown cards. Please tell me we get a team of the season as well. Prem Challenge, Leon Fourth Kit. We don't. <sighs> okay. Fine. Mariano. Right? 89 rated. 3 star, 4 star. Did you bump him up or is that what he was before? If not, why would you not make him double 4? He has not been bumped up at all. Why would you not give him 4 star skills? It's 5 foot 11, high medium is good, his pace is good, his shooting is good, his passing is garbage, his dribbling is average, 80 composure, physicals are good. It's an okay card. It's nothing incredible. People are saying that I need to go and look at the store. Why? Right. I tell you what, I like this a lot. I really like this. This, to me, is the way that FIFA should be going. Instead of pumping out, of course they release 50k packs, right? Ooh, let's, let's just open one, just in case. This is the way that FIFA should be going. You shouldn't be able to buy packs. With FIFA, po with FIFA points or anything like that. There should... Really? Dear God. Um, it should be cosmetic stuff. Right? 700 FIFA points for what? Two kits, a stadium, and a TIFO? Again, this to me is definitely the way forward for microtransactions in FIFA. 
I cannot believe that kits are costing 25,000 coins. That seems a bit mad. But this could be the start of something really, really, really good. And the thing is, people might laugh at it and people might moan that they are doing this that you can buy kits and stuff with FIFA points. But if this means that you can no longer buy packs with FIFA points, this is the way forward. Again, I've said it for years. This is how you can monetize pro clubs, right? If you put kits and stuff like this into a pro club store that requires FIFA points, that's how you monetize that game mode. And that's how you could push that game mode to be the next level. Because you'll actually have funding going into it. And if this replaces promo packs, I'm all for it. Yes, they're expensive. In terms of coins, for FIFA points, what's that? 700 FIFA points. A fiver for stadium theme, a TIFO, and a couple of kits. Is that a lot? Not really. How much is a Fortnite skin? A few quid? It's basically the same thing, isn't it? I, like... I, I think the reaction to this today is going to be overwhelmingly negative. However, this could be the start of something huge. This could be the end of pay-to-win FIFA, basically. If this is a tester for going forward into FIFA 22 without the ability to buy packs with points, so you don't get an advantage if you're rich, this would be massive. Yet everyone's going to look at it and say, oh, it's expensive. Rather than thinking about the, the real world implications of what this could mean for the game, I feel like people need to look at the bigger picture. This might be the kind of thing that we look at next year as normal. Cosmetic items are the way that microtransactions in FIFA should be. And whether that is... Uh, again, we've said the same ideas for years. Whether it is kits, whether it's stadium themes, whether it's TIFOs, whether it is card types. I guarantee you, if this, instead of kits, was different card types that you could apply to your players... People would be all over it. Right? I think they're a little bit worried that they are going to not be able to sell packs and stuff like that in many countries going forward. Like We know that FIFA points got blocked in, was it Belgium? Something like that. And loot boxes are potentially going to be banned in many more countries. So, I think this is a good step forward if it means a reduction in pack-based paid items to bring in the increase in cosmetic items. The other card, the showdown card, is a left mid Marcus Alonso. If you play 3-5-2, that would be perfect, basically. Six foot two, high-low work rates. Pace is great. Shooting is good for what's basically a fullback. Passing is okay. Dribbling is okay. Defending is good, but not incredible. Physical is okay as well. It's basically just a well-rounded car, but nothing spectacular. How much are these? An 84 and an 85 with the team of the week. An 84 and an 85 with the team of the week. Hmm. The thing is, I, I, I could be completely off base here, and I could be thinking that this is uh, the way... Oh, by the way, apparently those cards, uh, these things in the store are tradable, so people are just buying them on the market. But this could be one of the biggest days for FIFA. Or it could just be them trying to milk even more money and adding cosmetics onto packs. Let me know your thoughts, which way you think it's going to go.